Christmas decorations have uh, come a long way over the years, and this morning, however, we're going to go back in time. That's right. We're checking in well, what Christmas would be like Victorian style, and Emily Dean joins us live from Green Bay with more. Hi, Emily. Good morning. We are out here at the Hazelwood Historic House Museum, and we're taking a look at some of the decorations. Now, it's different from the Victorian style. The 1800s is how um, they decorated then. Uh, we're taking a look at a fun game that's the spider game, it's called. It also was known as the cobweb game. Now, this game, the children would go around the house to find their presents. Sally Enlow is here with me, curator of interpretation at the museum here. Sally, it's designated to one room this game is right now, but it would be throughout the house or certain parts? Well, it could be throughout the house or a part of the house, a section of the house. We set it up, of course, in one room because, as you can see by looking at it, if we put it in the house, the entire house, no one would get in here. <laughs> and so it's all decorated in there, and the toys are the, are the presents. You know, it could be toys, it could be candy that you said would be at the end of the string that the mm -hmm. children would go to find. Right. Each child, and I think they picked a spider because usually they had, like, a spider has eight legs, and you'd tie a different color to each leg. And boys and girls would go around, and they would actually follow the string around the staircase, under the tables, over chairs, things like this, and then at the end of their string, they would have a present. Now, along the way, sometimes there were little gifts hung on the string, like a little girl might find a little bag with some candy and nuts in it. Maybe a, a young man would receive a jackknife along his string. But it was a way that they had for giving out gifts and making it a game. Uh, and so we've set it up in one of the bedrooms here just so that people can see it. And I actually had a lady that called me, we had it about five years ago here, we had this set up. And she called me in January and she said, I thought that was so interesting. <laughs> she said, my daughter had a birthday party and we set, up, set it up uh, at her birthday party and the girls just had a great time. Well, back in the 1800s, they celebrated very differently than we do now. They had, uh, you know, more time. They, they settled down. They took their time to open presents. And that's kind of how this game is. I mean, you take time to find your present. Right. It's mm -hmm. not like you run to the Christmas tree and Christmas morning. This is something that... Right. They had a lot more time. There weren't as many demands put on their life, uh, especially through the holidays. Uh, Christmas itself was more or less just a family day. Uh, you didn't go out and about and do all kinds of things and watch football and, and, you know. And so New Year's was typically the time. New Year's Day was the time when they visited from house to house. Well, it looks like an interesting game. Gosh, the spider game, what a fun thing. Maybe you'll try it at your home. Who knows? Something new for a family tradition. Well, tours start here. You can see a Victorian Christmas at the Hazelwood um, Historic House Museum, and you can just check out our website, fox11online.com. We'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Emily. Thanks. See ya.